Hi! Today I'll be talking about things that inspired me to get into software and video game development. I'll also touch on a few things that I'll be covering in more detail in future videos about the evolution of my projects. The first computer I remember ever using was a ti 99 a Apparently I had been playing educational games on it as early as 1982 when I was three years old, one year after it was released. Incidentally, the original ti 994 was released only two months after I was born in 1979. Around the age of five, I started dabbling in programming, really simple stuff in basic. I was pretty into computers already, but a big factor was my dad's job with Sony. Not in that, I have an uncle that works for a Nintendo kind of way. This was just over a decade before the original PlayStation, and when people heard the name Sony at the time, video games wouldn't be the first thing that came to mind. This was actually a factory they had in Dothan, Alabama, that was mainly producing magnetic media like video and audio cassettes and floppy disks. It opened in 1977, but it's been closed since 2010. My dad worked in the information department, where he wrote and managed the computer programs they used there. A lot of it had to do with managing their databases and use languages like COBOL, FORTRAN, and RPG. I got to visit a few times, and I was impressed with all of the computers and large reel-to-reel -reel tape machines they used for data storage. At that point, I decided that I'd do the same thing. I'd become an applications developer. I started out small with things like Hello World and simple math quiz programs, and would eventually work my way up to database storage and retrieval. We did have a lot of games for the TI that I enjoyed, like Alpiner, Parsec, Munchman, too many to actually go into detail right now, and my grandma had an Atari 2600 that I play frequently. But it would still be a while before I realized I wanted to make video games myself. Eventually my parents gave away the TI to another family member and got an Apple IIc. I decided to take things more seriously, and before I really did much with it, I read the Apple IIc owner's manual and the AppleSoft Basic Programmer's Reference Manual entirely from front to back. After that, I started again. Simple quiz programs, onto database things, and a little bit of graphical stuff. I also typed in several applications and games from Compute Magazine. I can understand the ones written in BASIC, but the larger ones that used MLX were more a practice and tedium. Some of them did give me a taste of game development, though, through the level editors they included. I had a lot of fun making new levels for them. Vulcan Mines, Powerball, and although this is something I bought instead of typed in, Boulder Dash Construction Kit. Sometime during that period, my parents also bought an NES. I had played stuff like Donkey Kong before, but Super Mario Bros. is the first smooth scrolling platformer I remember having tried. Not to mention the first one with so many unique levels. We owned and rented a few other games like Bubble Bobble, Metroid, Air Fortress, but my favorite one for the NES was and still is Super Mario Bros. 3. That's the first video game I ever tried to imitate, but I didn't really get far at all before I had already moved on. My dad sold the NES after a few years, and a while after that we got a Master System. We had a bunch of games for it that I played all the time, but my next real inspiration didn't come until later. By that time, a Sam's Club had opened in Dothan, and my family would go a few times a month. One of those times in 1991, I saw Sonic the Hedgehog for the first time. They had a display unit running, but it was crowded, and my parents didn't let me stand around long enough to try it. I did get a decent look at it though, and I thought it was amazing. The speed and physics blew me away, and when I finally got to try it several visits later, I knew that I not only had to own a copy, but I also had to reach a level where I could reproduce it myself. As time went on, I made attempts on the Apple IIc, an IBM PC Junior, a 386 PC, and beyond, but it still took me a while to get it just right. I'll save those details for later. Since then, I've played a ton of games on a bunch of different platforms. I like a wide variety and there are a lot of things I want to do myself, but that's how I got my start. Later, I'll go into detail on the systems I used and the projects I created for them. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and would like to see more, please leave a like, subscribe to stay up to date, and consider pledging to my Patreon to help me produce more and better content faster. Every dollar adds up and is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey, what am I still doing over there?